Two studies out today point to significant progress in helping paralyzed people stand and take steps. This new treatment may provide hope for many Americans who have paralysis from spinal cord injuries. Here's Dr. John LaPook. In 2011, Jeff Marquis crashed his bike on a mountain trail in Montana, leaving him paralyzed from the chest down. I was a really independent person before I got hurt, and that was wiped away pretty quickly. A once active athlete and professional chef, Marquis needed constant care. Today, Marquis can walk again, something people with paralysis can only imagine. He can do it because of a remarkable new experimental device, a type of electrical stimulator. Here's how it works. Spinal injuries disrupt nerve pathways that ordinarily allow the brain to signal the legs to move. In this study, doctors implant an electrical stimulator at the base of the spine. When it's turned on, the electrical signals appear to awaken those injured nerve pathways, allowing the brain to communicate with the legs again. Marquis, now 35, was one of four patients who spent months doing intensive physical training at the University of Louisville Spinal Cord Injury Research Center. He says first he got his right foot moving, and then his left. It's certainly a welcome change from being in a chair all the time, and uh, kind of a ray of sunshine in, the, uh, in my prognosis. He walked the length of one football field without rest, and then almost a quarter of a mile over a one-hour session. It takes so much concentration that, that I don't get emotional about it in the moment. Until he told his parents. I showed them in the video um, because I knew I wouldn't. <laughs> Sorry. So I, uh, so I knew I probably wouldn't get, get the words out. Professor Susan Harkema directs the research. They're able to walk independently. It's not the same as before their injury, but it's a significant level of recovery. It's def I've definitely made a lot of progress, but uh, I do live alone and I'm able to live in independently. Jeff, we used to think that patients like Marquis had complete severing of all the nerves at a certain level, but now we know that some nerves can survive, which is why he can think legs move and with a little help from technology, they can move. Now, it's probably years away from more widespread use, but what an amazing I piece mean, how of great science. is it to see them walking in that video? Amazing. All right, John, thank you.